and welcome back to my channel outside the cookie jar i am jackie jackie the baker and i am here to share with you a really good old-fashioned type of thing pound cake it's called the seven up pound cake and um i really enjoy it everybody in the building enjoys it so i'm going to share the recipe with you let's get baking Okay, so what I have in here, you want to do it in the uh, standing mixer. It's just uh, a lot easier. So what I have in here is one cup of softened butter, half a cup of butter flavor shortening, and three cups of sugar. So you want to go ahead and cream that to it's like light and fluffy. Okay, you at least want to scrape the bowl once or twice. It's about that fluffy. Now, you want to end it, you want to add in. Now, I prefer fresh lemon juice. I don't have it. So, this will be just as fine. And you want to use... Between half and one tablespoon, depending on how lemony you want your pound cake. So, there's a half a tablespoon of that. Now, you want lime extract. I mean, you know, what's the seven up cake without a lemon and lime? All right, you want either a, half, either a teaspoon or a half a teaspoon of it. I'm sorry, either a teaspoon or a half a tablespoon. I got in a half a tablespoon. So we're gonna do that. We're gonna mix this pretty well. This is a very simple recipe. At this, at this time, you want to add five eggs, one at a time. Make sure they are completely incorporated before you add any more. Again, you want to scrape down the bowl, make sure everything is incorporated. Okay, so you want to scrape down the bowl to make sure everything is incorporated. Now, now you want to add in the 7-Up. You can't have a 7-Up cake without 7-Up. So, pour this right here. Then, you want one cup of 7-Up. And me. It's about a cup. Yep. One cup of seven up. Mix it well to just well combined. Okay, once you add your seven up, your batter will look curdled. I will not lie, it looks curdled. But you want to add your three cups of all purpose flour and a half a teaspoon of baking powder. Oh, and also about a half teaspoon of salt. If you are not using um, salted butter, I always use salted butter. So, like this. Once the 
Sunflower Incorporated, and we'll see you Batter is smoother, and you just want to dip everything down in there. Now this is like pretty much looser. It's not as thick as a actual like a regular pound cake, but the texture will be there. And I promise you, you will not be disappointed. Okay. Ten inch food pan. Make sure your oven is on at three twenty five. In fact, preheat your oven before you do all this because I always seem to forget to tell you guys that. Alright, now I suggest using one of these. This is easier and a lot cleaner when it comes out of the pan. Let's see if I can do this without putting it on me. Okay, here you go. So like I said, preheat your oven to 325 and you also want to bake this for one hour, 20, one hour, 15 minutes. So you could check it in about an hour to see where it is, you know, when the toothpick comes out cleaner or, you know, a knife, but enough to come out clean, uh, then it should be ready and all set to go. Depending on, you know, the, your oven, your oven's probably better than mine so I have to let it go at an hour and 10 minutes and if it's not done an hour and 15 I shall see you then okay guys the pound cake is done and I'll let it sit overnight because I like to get that crust on top as you can tell so let's dive into it Go. Let's see. That lemon, lemon lime just pops. Oh, that it's like a refreshing pop in your mouth. It's good. You guys are gonna like this. Promise, absolutely promise. Thank you for watching. <laughs> Subscribe if you like. I would really appreciate that. Give me a like, comment, and please share. Okay, thanks guys. Bye, love ya.